When it comes to compact SUVs and crossovers, we have a certain affinity towards them. Catering to this market scenario, Tata has set to float their competitor. The whole new Nexon. all the design elements that a modern car should have. It shares lots of design cues with the Bolt, the Hexa and the Goodall Vista, but it's unique and distinct. Not to mention how closely the Nexon resembles its concept design. Of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We love Tata's impact design philosophy. I really like the way the door closes, that, that sound, it's reassuring. As soon as you enter the cabin, you will notice some JLR inspired stuffs here and there, like the sliding box over here, the dry mode selector and the sheer quality of the materials used. Talking about the seats, the cushioning is great, there's enough lumbar and under thigh support. Excellent thing is the bolt swing, it is really comfortable to be in. That story continues on the back seats too. The seats are designed so as to accommodate two passengers comfortably. However, the middle passenger won't be having a good time as the under thigh support is compromised and there is a transmission tunnel at the rear. As there is minimum suspension intrusion into the boot space, the 350 liter capacity can be utilized at its best. The infotainment system is well placed. The UI is simple and easy to interact with. You may not get a fluid experience, but it is good. The system supports Android Auto, navigation and comes with reverse parking camera. The camera quality could have been better. The Herman Kardon sound system has a 4 speaker and 4 tweeter setup and provides a great music experience. So the next one has 3 driving modes, namely the Eco, City and Spoor. Eco mode is for fuel economy, so therefore there is a bit of lag. And city it's tuned towards city driving, so the low end torque is enhanced. While in sport mode, it is at this mode that you can extract maximum out of the engine, but with less of fuel economy. These driving modes have different impact on both petrol and diesel engines. So let's start with the diesel engine which I'm riding right now. So it's a 1.5 litre 4 cylinder engine, it produces around 110 PS of power and 260 Nm of torque starting from 1500 and it stays flat till 2750 RPM. Therefore the lag is minimal, the low end is really good and it's only after 2000 RPM you really can get that turbo punch. So until then there is lag and the main highlight of this engine is its strong mid range. The petrol variant of the Nexon is powered by a 1.2 litre 3 cylinder turbocharged engine. It also produces 110 PS of power while the torque is 170 Nm starting from 1750 and stays flat up to 4000 RPM. Unlike normal 3 cylinders, the vibrations are low and the refinement levels are good. Here also you have to cross the 2000 RPM range for the punch, but the petrol gets active slightly earlier than the diesel. Both petrol and diesel are mated to a 6-speed manual transmission. In Eco mode, the petrol engine exhibits more lag compared to the diesel engine. The diesel engine is more manageable at low speeds, thanks to its better low-end torque. At demanding conditions, with the petrol engine, you have to work on the gas pedal and at times it feels like you are driving a naturally aspirated engine. Shifting to sports mode do make a significant difference in the engine response. The suspension does a very good job of keeping the car stable even at high speeds. The car feels planted at corners. The steering wheel stiffens up as the speed increases while remains light at slow speeds, which makes maneuvering through tight spaces easier. There isn't much body roll as expected. The 209mm ground clearance is a blessing for our road conditions. Road and wind noise are well controlled even when you are driving at high speeds. 
Tata has also provided proper insulation at the engine bay. All these add to low NVS levels. The reek only adjustment of the steering wheel is a bit annoying and the visibility through rear glass is limited. The Nexon is a well-built car with spacious cabin, comfortable seats, lots of features, good engines and a better road presence than any of its rivals. With the launch of Nexon, Tata is redefining themselves.